hi guys it's israel Eziedo. welcome back to my channel today we are going to be doing a very interesting tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to make black skin look like actual black skin So before we go on guys please show some love and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notifications for when i make new posts now why is this tutorial important a lot of times when i see some movies you know with black people in it i see that the skin looks very unnatural it looks too pushed it looks too orangey there's this very unnatural feel about the way the characters look in the film you know the black guys don't really look like what they should look like so i'm going to be showing you a very simple process that i use you know for dealing with this and making black skin look like real black skin so the footage we are using today is for an advert that i edited and color graded for redirect mall and the black wall street i'm going to leave a link in the description to for you to check out what they do this was shot on a red dragon 4k resolution and if you look at our scopes you see that you know the image is pretty much balanced properly you know the reds are a little bit nudged higher than the green and the blue but i mean other than that the footage looks good the cinematographers did a great job in camera so i want to start off by creating our node tree and if you've seen my previous tutorials you already know the very basic node structure that i use i only use a different node tree when a different node structure when i'm um, working on something you know that de that demands that but for this i'm going to use a very simple node structure so the very first node would be for our exposure the second node would be for fine tuning the exposure third node would be for saturation and look and then we are going to create a parallel node for our skin we're going to create one node for vignette another node for sharpening and a final note for film green. I'm just going to go ahead and label all of this. So first we want to come to our exposure node. So because this is a commercial, I don't want to give it an overly contrasty look. That's not what we are going for. I want to create something that speaks African, something that is warm and soft and beautiful. So I'm going to crank the contrast up, but not too much somewhere around here is fine I'm going to drop my lift some I'm going to drop my gain so I take out you know so we have some more details in the highlights and then I'm going to open my shadows a little bit I'm just going to put a little bit of contrast to this so this is fine for now I'm going to come to my saturation and look and i'm first of all going to crank the saturation up i want this to be a really really colorful commercial not overly colorful you know but just sufficient to be fine and to make it look and to make it pop so i'm going to leave this at 70 ish for now and i want to come to my gamma and put fill this in fill some orange in my shadows and come to my gain and feel some feel some yellow in my gain as well i'm going to balance this out by putting some blue some teal rather in the sh in the dark part i'm going to crush this a little before we head on to work on the skin i want to increase the saturation on this like i said i want this to be really colorful so 90 ish is fine don't be afraid to crank up the saturation you can still come back and adjust it so first i'm going to turn this first node off and then on this second node what i like to do with my skin layers is to create a little bit of color contrast between the background and the subject 
so that you know the subject pops out more from the background so here i'm going to come to my gamma and i'm going to move it a little bit to the tail area not too much just sufficient to create a bit of a contrast um, i'm going to do the same for my lift i'm going to do the same for the blacks nudge this a little towards the tail area and then crush it just a little bit okay so i'm going to come back to this layer and open it and i'm going to pick a qualifier tool and select the skin area so i'm just going to bring back some detail in the dark parts here like i said i want i don't want to have a very contrasty look for this so in this node i want to make sure that i have just the skin or as close to it as possible selected and once i do that i'm going to blur it out some um open this a little bit now once we have this i'm going to go to the gamma and put some red in the skin i'm also going to go to the gain and nudge it towards yellow not so much just a little bit same thing i'm going to do for the blacks i'm going to nudge that towards the red area now this is looking a little bit too reddish now this is a trick that you'd use to balance this out you want to come to your selection range under your qualifier tool and then crank this up crank clean blacks up it's going to take out some saturation in the blacks and then crank your clean white up and then i'm going to open up our shadows for the skin just a tad bit great so this looks good but it looks it still looks a little bit too reddish so i'm just going to take out some reds from the dark areas yeah this is fine this is really beautiful I'm just going to go through this in different shots and see three basic things that i'd use um, vignettes for one is to create a color contrast between the subject and the background another is to blur out the background and make the subject stand out more and then thirdly which is a more common use for the vignette is to create a dark halo around the subject so that the viewer's attention are drawn to the subject so I want to come to the power window here and use this circle tool and just create something good. I want to keep this open window just around the face. Good. So first off, you're going to invert this and you want to crank down the gamma crank down the lift and crank down the highlights this is it before and this is it now you can see just how it's pulling attention to the subject i'm going to do this a little bit more crank down on the gamma on my lift and on my gain this is good the next thing i want to do is to blow out is to blow out the background a little so i'm going to take this all the way up and then walk my way down i'm not going to blow it so that it looks so unnatural i just want it subtle 
but clearly defined as well. Great. And like I said, another thing that I use the vignette for is to create color contrast between the subject and the background. I wouldn't want to do that here because it's really not needed, but I'll do it in another scenario. So we have that and that looks good. We want to come to our sharpen node and sharpen this up, make the image look really crisp and well defined. That's beautiful. That's really beautiful. So we want to come back to our exposure here. If you look at the footage, you'd see that there's just a little bit of noise in the blacks. We want to take that out and, you know, make the image look a little silky. So we'd come to our motion effects, temporal noise reduction. I want to keep this at four and then crank up our temporal threshold. Really crank it up. Here yeah, is good and then blend it. So if I take this off, you can see the amount of noise that was there. And then if I bring it back, you can see how smooth it is right now. So this is where we are with our footage. It looks really good. The last thing I'm going to add is film grain. And why I'm going to add that is just to make this look cinematic. You want to have your film grain in your footages. It just adds this very subtle cinematic feel that I really, really love. I want to use the 35mm 400T. And because, I mean, this is not a movie, it's commercial. I don't want it to look too grainy. So I'm going to crank down on the opacity so it's very subtle, it's as subtle as it can get. So the last thing that I want to do is just add a little bit of fine tuning. So I'm going to come to this fine tune, um, expo fine tune for exposure node. And like I said, I want a very, very soft feel for the commercial. So I'm going to open my shadows a tad bit, not so much. And then I'm going to crank down on my gain just a tad bit so it's soft and beautiful and one last thing I'll do is to come to this skin node here and I'm going to add a little bit of sharpness to the qualified areas just so it's a little bit more well defined you can see how much difference that made just a little nudge there makes you know makes the face pop out more and then I want to come to the qualifier here and denoise this. Just take this all the way up. So this is our final image, guys. The skin looks really colorful and beautiful, but at the same time, it looks very natural. It looks like what a black skin should look like. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section to tell me what you think about this tutorial and what you'd want us to work on next. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notifications for when I make new posts. See you guys in the next tutorial and don't forget to stay safe.